Good night to you. I'm hoping you're having a fantastic day right there. My name is Prosper Taruvinga and uh, this video you're about to watch is a pre-recorded video uh, that's been recorded live right now because my mission really is to help entrepreneurs like yourself set up reliable and lucrative businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. So if you're watching this part of the show, you're watching a replay, I want you to hit the number two so that we know who we're working with and it also helps us to actually tailor our content. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave us with a comment. I see Scott Woodrow has just tuned in. Thank you so much, my man, for tuning in. Sam Berry, how are you doing, my man? Thank you, thank you so much. For your time and look Corin is in the house. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. All right. So as the saying goes, we always talking about how to make your business profitable and enjoyable. But there's also a hidden message, um, you know, behind there. It's all about making sure that you are happy within yourself and you're also being successful within your business. A lot of people do not know the difference between the two things that I'm talking about and it becomes a big, big confusion and a big mess for them to actually understand. So the success versus happiness and so that you don't get fooled into thinking it's one and the same thing. I see Nicole Loins is in the house. How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Charlie O'Shea, I can't wait to be speaking to you a little bit uh, later on today. Thank you so much. Now, I want you to take a minute if you're watching this show right now and tell me. I want you to just have a think about how successful you actually are right now. Have a think about it. Have a think about how successful you are right now. All right. And Sunny Das, how's it going, my man? Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Charlie, it's going to be fantastic. I want you to have a think about how successful you are right now. And I want you now to put it in this context, the criteria that you use to evaluate yourself, all right? Some people might look at maybe their bank account. Some people might look at the various degrees that they have, um, you know, that they might have collected along the way. And many people may look at their relationships with their spouses, their kids, their friends, their clients, and most of those things. And some might even look into their closet and see, you know, some of their, you know, collection of designer shoes, bags, or watches. You know what I mean? But do you actually consider yourself successful based on the things that I've mentioned? Do you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, some of us might not really know what to actually point to see whether they are being a success or not. And that's the reason why it becomes a hard to get um, thing or a far-fetched, um, you know, something that they never get to, to, to attain and then they put it in the too hard basket. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you might think to yourself, do I actually consider myself successful? Do you know what I mean? Because obviously, one, you've created a business that never existed before. You are well respected within your field. You probably have multiple degrees. You probably have multiple clients. You've got a lovely home. You've got a lovely spouse. You've got beautiful relationships. And most of them, they're strong. Would you still say you are successful? You know? But on the other hand, you might just be miserable within yourself. On the other hand, you might probably be going through a divorce. On the other hand, you might not be talking to the rest of your family, do you know? On the, on, the other way, on the other hand, you might be battling, you know, maybe weight issues. On the other hand, you just might not be happy with yourself, you know? Or on the other hand, you might have just stopped running your business. And to, my, to some people, you might be looking, as, looking like a smashing success, but to yourself, you are probably not fulfilled. That's what we're going to be talking about today, you know what I mean? Because... What do we actually mean when we say we are a success anyway? What do we actually mean? Because every single day I come around and I say, I want to help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. But what does that actually mean? Some people have no clue when they've actually touched success or reached success or to define what it actually means to them. You know, um, I've got a friend. Um, we just got off the phone together right now. And they say to themselves that success to the modern entrepreneur, to the modern day, um, you know, business person, the word is synonymous to God. 
All right, I'm going to explain to you what I mean there. If you ask 100 people what it actually means to be successful, every one of them has got a different answer. You know, and guess what? All of them, they are right. It is how you define your own success that makes a whole big difference instead of what other people have defined success for you. I mean, we read books, we see it in the newspapers, we see it in um, everything that we read or, or, or what we watch or the TV shows that we watch, their idea of success. Have you ever stopped to think to yourself, what is my definition of success? What is your definition of success? That's the reason why I ask you this question now, to take a minute to actually think about how successful you are. All right, now Charlie O'Shea says, a success is a person that is working towards a well worth plan. Absolutely, but that well worth plan, to some person, it might be the most ridiculous thing they could ever see. To some other person, when Steve Jobs was coming up with the iPhone, there was a lot of people that were scrutinizing the iPhone, saying, this is a screen that can be broken and, and it's not going to be worth anyone's time. Do you know what I mean? So how do you define your own success within yourself? And are you happy with that definition? You know, because to yourself, you might, to other people, you might look like a smashing success. But within you are not happy, you know, and what do we actually mean by success? Really? What do you define it? Well, how do you define your own success? You know, like I said, if you ask a hundred people at any given time, they've got a different answer because everyone has a different way of approaching it. You know, on one level, from what I know, we understand that real success is about happiness. Is that true? If you're happy, you're successful. If you're successful, you're happy. Would that be a, a, a justified um, sort of conclusion? Please let me know in the comments there. And, you know, we, 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 we know this from the people that are around us. You know, some people that are, are happy might just be a bit shallow. Some people that are successful might be very superficial. How can you actually combine those two and make something that makes sense? And, and you know something? To most of us, you know, most of those people that are actually, um, you know, the gurus or people that actually help others to be happy for a living, they easily confuse success for actual happiness, you know, and at least until we wise up and figure out where do we actually stand and how do we actually define it, it's one of those things that is going to be a mystery and you would definitely not be able to be, do and have a business that you're actually happy about it. Now, Stone Guy says success is subjective. Absolutely. All right. That's what I'm trying to bring out today and, 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 and really expand on because some people fail to wake up on Monday because they don't feel successful. Some people fail to execute on their businesses on Monday or at the beginning of the week because they don't feel happy and they don't feel like they're moving or they don't feel they're doing much within their business in order for them to be um, or to be seen as a success. You know, so if you really look up the word um, success from from all that we've been exposed to, you will find a definition like First of all, it's probably the attainment of wealth, your position, maybe owners, and it, it, it's actually um, uh, synonymous to words like accomplishment, uh, prosperity, and fame. But if you don't feel like that, does that mean you are not doing enough within your business in order for it to be profitable and enjoyable? You know? See, I've got, I've got nothing against the word success, even in its own traditional definition, you know? But it's just a word. After all, and um, if you really, really look at it, let's let's really call it what it is. How do you define success? If you can type it in the comments there, how do you how do you define it? Is it something that is attained, or is it a way of being? You know, and 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 what sort of benchmark is um, you know that particular thing that actually says? Or is there a measuring stick to say, okay, if you've got five fingers, you're successful. If you've got four fingers, maybe you are almost successful. 
Because a lot of people are stopping themselves from being, doing, and having a business that's profitable and enjoyable because they're chasing something that is not attainable. And the fact that they cannot define it for themselves, it's going to be difficult for them to reach, um, you know, whatever they, you know, their, their, their wanted goal. Because there's, they, they could be a tangible metric. You know, because tangible metrics, they're important and they have their own place, right? But particularly in business, if you can't define what it means for you to be actually happy, what it means for you to be a success, it does it mean having, um, you know, three clients that are happy with your work? Does it mean finishing five blogs a day? Does it mean putting out a video? What does it actually mean within your business? And can you, you know, sort of divide it and say five of these things means that I've had a successful day or 15 of these things mean I have a successful business? You know, Sometimes if you're looking for personal fulfillment, it's not likely that the traditional way of looking um, at success is going to get you there. Traditionally, Stephen says, financial freedom with respect from your family, leaving a legacy to help my family. That's your uh, definition. I, and I applaud that. And Scott, thank you so much for tuning in, my man. Charlie says, success is up to the individual. One can't make a choice. And um, I just got a, an, an inbox saying success is leaving with, oh, it just went off. So I think, I think tangible metrics are not the best way to actually, um, you know, gauge or to see if somebody has been successful. So why are we stopping ourselves then to, to, to proceed with our jobs, to have problems in, in, in creating a business that's profitable and enjoyable and also having to work on Monday just because we are afraid of what other people might think. You know, as a society, I think we now believe that, you know, success is stuff and status. Do you know what I mean? Um, Steve Stone says success is living with a premise or presupposition that one's foundation is, this is good, um, is from failure. Pursuing success is always running from failure, which is not true. We are not born failures, nor do we exist. Hmm, that's, that's a really good one. And Scott says success is having the lifestyle you want while not neglecting your family. All right, so it's all about, yes, that's the stuff and the status that um, people are looking at. And um, some people feel like there's a certain path or some sort of yellow brick road that you have to follow, you know? And it's mostly, um, you know, while there's nothing inherently wrong with wanting, you know, stuff, success or wealth or acclaim, it's a mistake to actually assume that, you know, when you pave, it, it paves the way to happiness. Okay, now that we've tried to define what success is, um, can you try and define happiness? All right. How, what is your understanding of what happiness really is? You know, because if we can, if we've got so many different, you know, um, you know, uh, ways to define success, there should also be so many different ways to define happiness. What is your definition of happiness? And are you actually happy within your business right now? Because like I said, success is actually thrown around so frequently that, um, you know, it becomes varied and the people that are talking about it mainly, they've even forgotten what it actually means. It's become so vague. It's become so, you know, all encompassing. You know what I mean? And, and people no longer know which path to follow. And Scott says happiness comes from, it comes and goes. Joy is permanent. Okay. That's a different one. So happiness is something that comes and goes. Can you say that you can derive your happiness from the success that you have right now? Because some people cannot actually start functioning on a Monday morning just because they feel like they're not being successful enough. You know, I think if you start basing your success in the things that you think make you happy, which is status and stuff, then you would never be fulfilled. You know, and I don't think we we want all of those things anyway you know because all of those things and stuff becomes too much to handle you know can you imagine if you're flying to go anywhere else you're only allowed this much in your hand luggage 
So if you've got a lot of stuff or baggage, it, it, it just means that you can't enjoy that flight as, as the same as everybody else. You know? Now, Scott says living a lifestyle of joy is where it's at. That's pretty good. You know? So we always want to think, you know, the way that we, 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 we have that stuff and, and that status is going to make us feel good about ourselves. You know? And Stone Guy says happiness is based on what happens. All right. What happens? So when success is happening, does that make you happy? Or when success is not happening, does that make you sad? You know? Because I, I'm really wanting to understand <laughs> the whole thing. Because success, when you boil it down, it seems to be about what we think will make us happy. It's sort of lure of the shiny and seductive. Is that, is that cool? You know? And then there's a hook to it. And, 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 and you know, you, you, you do everything right in the pursuit of attaining the traditional success. But happiness and personal fulfillment is not guaranteed by that. So like what everybody else is saying, sacri sacrifice your health for money. Then spend your money trying to get your wealth back. That's what a lot of people might be doing. Um, if, if they feel like... <sighs> you know, personally... Um, I feel like at the height of things today, being a Monday like this, um, not a lot of people are happy with who they have become because I think it's, it's a matter of becoming, isn't it? Can you justify that? You have to become the person that you've always want to be, you know? And, um, and I'm, I'm not saying there's, there's no inverse relationship between success and happiness that they just not necessarily a positive one. They're two different things. You know, and some people try and find their happiness in the success or try and find success in their happiness. How does that all work out? You know, and, and I feel like there's a popular sort of formula for success and happiness and it's guaranteed to fail because they're always saying what I when I have X, Y and Z, I'll be happy. What if that thing never happens? So today I really wanted us to explore that and see what is it in your business that you can actually do so that you can be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, you know, and, and what, who do you have to become? What sort of um, activities do you have to do that then constitute the happiness, which then brings out the success, you know, because how you personally define that success and how you personally define happiness is entirely up to you. But you got to recognize that there's a difference, you know, and a lot of people don't seem to be noticing that there's a difference there. So that's the reason why today I wanted to bring out these lessons on being successful and also being happy. And once you implement, you know, some of these life, you know, lessons and get on the right path, you will be either successful or you will be happy. And in the meantime, you'll be having a business that is profitable and actually enjoyable. You know what? Because throughout my whole life, coming in from Zimbabwe and coming to live in Melbourne, having the family that I have now, I feel like I've learned a great deal. You know, I've learned a lot about being an entrepreneur and, and about making money and about spending that money. I've, <laughs> I've done my fair share of that. But however, um, above all, the things that I've learned that there's two of the most important elephants, ele elements um, that you have in life. It's about being successful and it's about being happy. But not a lot of people can define those two things. And that's the reason why, you know, when we started off, I really wanted to hear where everybody stands, what other people are actually saying, you know, because I spent half my life or most of my life really sharing this information with others and really trying to teach people how to change, um, you know, their lives or their careers or their businesses so that they're actually happy in who they become and, and, and the success that they're achieving along the way, which is why I'm always happy to share, you know, some of these, um, you know, lessons that I've also learned and even the books that I've read, you know, so far and, and particularly when it comes to actually finding success and happiness, because my mission is to help 
people to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. So the profit then comes, um, you know, disguised as that success and enjoyable. That's where the happiness is, you know, and there's sort of some lessons that you can actually learn, you know, about being successful and about being happy. And a few people fail to go past you know, waking up every Monday to, 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 to perform their jobs, to perform their duties because they have no strict definition that they have put to themselves of what success actually is and what, um, you know, happiness actually is. You know, one thing that might blow your socks off right now is I want you to know that money isn't everything. Money is not everything. I know it sounds strange coming from an individual, you know, that spends his living teaching people how to actually make money, but it really isn't everything. If you really want to be successful, focus on doing the stuff that you absolutely love. You know, even if it's not usually profitable at the beginning, right? In, 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 in a way, you actually find ways to make more profit out of it, but you actually need to focus on fulfilling yourself first. The reason why I'm saying this is every single day, people chase shiny objects thinking they're going to make them happy, but they're doing what they don't love or, you know, compromising on their values. You know, some people might think, oh, he's gone mad or he's, he's, he's lost his track of mind. But if you chase the money, you might not find it. But if you chase you being happy, you stick with the work. You focus on what you're doing because you love what you're doing and then the money will eventually follow. All right. So if what you're doing right now is not meaningful and is not actually making you happy, I guarantee you, yes, you might have a couple of sales today, but you're not going to be successful in what you're doing. You know, and then one other thing that stops people from being successful is making a lot of assumptions. We are now living in a global village right now where people's worldviews have totally changed. You know, 10 years ago, um, you know, people of the same sex marriage were not allowed to get married. In some states in America, people were not um, allowed to smoke, um, you know, recreational marijuana. But now it's now, um, you know, an open play field. So I want that if you really want to be successful while you're doing what you love, and if you really, really want to have a successful and a happy life, then you can't be close-minded or keep making assumptions of things that are never going to help you in the future. There's a lot of new technology that is coming up, but a lot of people are laggards or they're holding on to what was before and it's going to stop you from moving forward because you, 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 you are not open enough or you're not open-minded enough to accept things that are going to be helping you in the future. You cannot climb the ladder or you can't climb a ladder with your hands closed, you know? So the world can be a small and very cruel place if you actually start making assumptions about people based on your own limitations. So if you are one person that looks into race, color, weight, creed, all of those things, just try and keep an open mind. Because people are now coming in different shapes and sizes, different forms, and you never know who's going to come in with the best deal or with the best thing that will change your life or shape your, the, the way your business is being done. You know? And most people are actually really good individuals if you just keep an open mind. You know? So your potential can be um, limited or if you, by, by your worldview. So stop making assumptions from people. Understand that people are different and everybody's trying to do something. So don't just think anyone is out to get you. So if you open minded, you open yourself up to possibilities and you know, you do what you've always wanted to do, no matter what anybody else around has done or is doing, you just do your, you just do you and accept everybody else as who they are, you know? And once you're doing that, if you really want to be happy and successful, instead of, you know, having all these um, guesses of what it could be, focus every single day on your own growth. You know, if you've got kids, you will understand what I'm talking about. I've got a three year old right now. And when she was born, I was making phone calls with her on my shoulder and we we're walking around everywhere, etc., etc. But guess what? She's now 
her own independent person. And that has only happened in the last three years. All right. Guess why that is? That is because she has grown. All right. But us as adults, we are not noticing that growth. You know, we're not noticing that growth, me and my wife. So people are growing every single day. So don't hang on to people that used to be, um, you know, or you used to know just because, you know, that's what you're used to. People are growing. So you should always be in touch with the person of today, you know, and also your personal growth is important, you know. I mean, sure, you need to make sure that you're building your business and you're paying your bills. But the most important thing in your life that you should be focusing on really is your education and your personal growth. An hour a day or 30 minutes a day of reading something fresh, something new, something that would open up your mind to different um, you know, possibilities. I don't mean getting a fancy MBA or a fancy college degree. You know, that, 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 when I mean about focusing on your growth, but we are really living in an exciting age where you can learn virtually anything through the internet. You know, there's free guides, there's, you know, free eBooks, et cetera, et cetera. And once you've got all this knowledge and all these skills, everything becomes easier in the long run. Have you ever noticed that you're frustrated about something that if you call somebody who's knowledgeable, they just tell you instantly that you've got a problem there, you've got a problem there. Educate yourself. That will then bring out the happiness that you have, you know? And I was talking about my daughter and my wife earlier on. If you really want to be successful and actually be happy, cherish the relationships that you have. I understand you're an entrepreneur, you have to work 80 hours a week in order to bring out your business, but whether it's the relationship with your family, your friends, your clients, or significant others, you just need to cherish the human relationships that you have. Don't leave all of that to automation, okay? Don't let work or greed consume you, because how are you going to celebrate now when, when you don't have people around you to celebrate, um, you know, around you, you know? So that's a mistake a lot of entrepreneurs are making today and, and one that is never worth, worth it in the end because if you forget your family or forget the people that were there for you since day one, then what good is whatever you're creating right now? So if you really want to be successful and happy, look at the people that are around you and also the relationships that you're around because they say five, um, what do they call it? They say that you're an average of the five people that are in and around who you are, you know? And one of the things that people really get caught up on, which I was also noticing in, is a lot of people get caught up on small losses or small mistakes that they might be making on their way to success, you know? Just because you are not getting the success that you thought you were going to have right away, it doesn't mean you can't find that success later on. You know what I mean? If you're doing what you love, if you're around the people that you care about, if you're personally growing every single day, you are learning because we're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. You know, I've got a few clients or maybe students sometimes and, and, and they've struggled for months and eventually, you know, they haven't been able to find, you know, some sort of, um, you know, the, the best definition of what success could be for them. You know, look, Marani, how you going, my man? You know, and these are individuals that, that just get overwhelmed by small setbacks because they're not, you know, expanding their brain or expanding their minds or opening their minds. It's easy. You know, small losses. Yes, you learn. You learn from those. And once you learn, you move on. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know, there are a few lessons. They, they could be things that you're not doing right now. And I've learned... Um, you know, along the way that when it comes to success and actual happiness, you have to make sure that you are taking care of who you are in the first place. You know, lessons that I've just mentioned here, I just, I just hope that all individuals, whether you're a student or whether you're a business person or whether you, 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 you are somebody who is trying to have a business that's profitable, enjoyable, you will benefit from them. Define to your own self what, um, you know, what success means. Don't follow what other people have d defined for you. 
You know? Define, define what it means for you. And once you know that definition, you know, how you personally define success and how you personally define your own happiness is entirely up to you. All right. And then from then on, every Monday is going to be a fantastic day. Every day of the week would be the same. I'm hoping that you really enjoyed this show today, even though it was a little bit all over the place when we started, because I really wanted to find out what everybody else is up to. In the meantime, if you've got any questions, let's talk about this, um, you know, um, at the end of the show, um, you know, in the comments below and um, hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Define for your own self what it actually means. All right. Now, Nicole says the bigger your meaning, the deeper it will bring more value to your life and those surrounding you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So don't let stuff or, you know, uh, things be the definition of your, um, you know, your, your growth or your success. Make sure you have that definition yourself. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.